So are you utilizing live video live stream for your business? That is the question, the topic of this video, and I'm going to give you some tips how you can start if you haven't gotten started and what the importance of you doing live videos are for your business. Hi there, I'm Christina Torres. Welcome to my channel where I'm hoping to give women, especially newbie women business owners, tips and tricks how to use social media for their business. So again, if you think you get value, well, you will get value from this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, so basically in a nutshell, the reason why live video is so important, it's called live stream, is because you're gonna get a higher reach to your audience. So what does that mean? So have you ever seen or noticed when you do a regular post, like just verbiage, right? You're wording, no picture. It doesn't really get a lot of engagement. And then when you have a picture and post information, depending what that may be, you might not get the greatest engagement either. But if you do a live video, your engagement goes higher. There's a lot of views. You might have more interaction if you're doing the right the video the right way, meaning giving value and education and that information. So if you're needing ideas what to post or what to say, I'm going to link my social media calendar free template for you here in the description box. And also in this video, I give tips on how for you to come up with ideas for you to post for your social media. So again, when you do these live videos, okay, you're gonna have a 200% higher reach than any regular post that you do. So a live video is giving you higher reach. It's gonna rank higher in the algorithm, the waves of these platforms, and there's your more viewers are going to see your information. So that's why you want to make sure you're giving value on this information. So for me, I work my business more over on Facebook. So I would like to know here in the comments, what is your platform of choice? We, between doing your live videos is it facebook instagram um here on youtube or maybe you even do on linkedin so what is your platform of choice okay i would like to know so whatever platform you're using you're going to get a higher reach regardless for your live video information so again i want to give you why this is important again i said higher reach a higher engagement you're going to reach a bigger audience so the main thing on video to what you're giving your audience is they're getting to know who you are so you want to make sure that you're giving people information on who you are what you want to be known for what you stand for and giving value okay so you can be the it girl on how to do curiosity posts the it girl how to start your channel here on youtube the it girl for instagram whatever it is you're wanting you want to make sure that that's the foundation and what you're going to be known for and then the way you do that is going live showing your presence over on your social platforms doing showing who you are with your live videos your lifestyle showing your family what you're doing on the weekends at a work event or whatever it is you're doing so they're getting to know and like you and through this relationship of trust then they may raise your their hand and say they want to join you in business or buy your product from you when you do it the right way again if you need information on what curiosity posts are i'll put it here or also if you want to know how to sell the solution that your products so you don't want to just be a seller if you want to know how to sell the solution your product gives and the benefits versus just the sell you can watch this video here to get those tips too okay so now you know why it's important for you to do live video you're going to get a higher reach people are going to get to know who you are and you're going to build relationships faster so what are you going to do if you're not Oh my gosh, Christina, I don't even know how to do live video. I've never done it. So here, I'm going to leave a video here for you to know how to get the fear out of it. That's the mindset. So it is a Facebook replay, but it was great value that I feel I gave to my audience. So I put it here on YouTube. So you can see that here and we're, you can just go through simple steps I give how to start your Facebook lives or any live video really. And you're going to give you for you to understand this mindset of how you let it go. But here for today's video, I want to give you information. When you're doing these live videos, you want to make sure that you're really engaging in what information that your platform of choice gives you. So on Instagram, there's various tools that you can use when you go live over there, LinkedIn, and also here on YouTube and for Facebook. So for example, for Facebook, when you go live, there's like filters you can do. You can put filters on your face. You can do a border. If you wanted to do a live video and then do a watch party, you're using tools that Facebook Facebook gives you so your algorithm is even going to go faster and higher because of that live video and because you're using the tools that are within the platform so whatever platform you're using make sure that you utilize those tools okay 
My second tip here I want to give you is you don't want to start your videos to be like really long, especially when you haven't started any videos. Of course, you don't want to start like a 15 minute video, 20 minute, 30 minutes. Usually in the beginning, you just really want to make them simple. You want to make no more than five minutes, maybe three minutes, go up to 10, go up to 15. When you feel that you got that knowledge and you have a, you need that longer time to give your value. So what you want to do when you first start is you want to make it just those micro clips that you can use in stories. Okay, that's a way you can go either live or do a short video, like a uploaded video in your stories and their micro clip. They're like less than 25 seconds. So that's getting you in the spirit, like the rhythm of you doing these live videos, a pre-recorded video, just going out there and doing it, okay, in your stories. And then when you start, your next step is, again, short clips. So maybe you wanna think about, well, I, my niche is, what is your niche? It's maybe it's skincare and you wanna give tips on how to have glowing skin. So instead of maybe going over your whole skincare routine or giving five or six tips, Maybe get your top two tips or your first tip that someone really needs to know. Do a fast live, maybe under a minute or two or maybe three minutes. And then when you feel better and you have engagement, then again, you can go to the next step of you doing a longer video. So I'm hoping these little tips help you. And if you are on Facebook, there are Facebook groups. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you're going live in your Facebook group because that's going to help the other rhythm of your group as well. Okay, again, using the tools that the platform of choice gives you. And the good thing about if you mess up, you could delete it. If you feel like, oh my goodness, it's horrible, I don't wanna do this, then it's okay, just delete it, right? And then if you feel like um, it was okay, you were unsure, at least over on Instagram, it's only for 24 hours and then it's gone. So it's not like they're forever like Facebook. So you might be, okay, Christina, that sounds great, but how do I get started? Okay, I'll do a short clip videos, 25 seconds, I'll do a minute or two, how do I get started? So the first thing you wanna do when you start your video is you want to give the topic of your video. What is it about? Okay, and then introduce yourself and give you your one or two topics, whatever it may be. And at the end, you want a call to action. Basically, what that means is what do you want them to do? So if you want them to hear about product information, then maybe you can say for more information, here's the link to my closed group. So whatever question or whatever you have for them, make sure you're sending them somewhere else, whether it's a group feeling free to message you in Messenger, whatever that may be, then do that, okay? And then at the end of all that, then that's when you're gonna make those connections. And then you might think, well, I'm not even sure when I should be going live. Okay, so I do have a video, I'll live here in the description notes as well, that it tells you when's the best times to post and this is pertaining for Facebook but I'm pretty sure it can be for any platform but also if you're just really nervous about it then do what I used to do in the beginning I used to go on at night late at night because I felt like maybe there wasn't a lot of people on because I'm a night owl so I would go late on night and not get a lot as many viewers because it was later in the night people are sleeping or if you're an early bird then go do your video right early in the morning when people are still sleeping so you're still gonna have the replay for people to watch but you're not gonna have all these people watching you live if that makes you nervous. So I really never was, to be honest, was scared of doing live video. It came second nature to me. I just wasn't doing it in the right way. I wasn't giving value and I wasn't getting ed giving education. It wasn't until I actually got a plan, a blueprint of how to do work in my business is where I started getting more community, um, more people asking questions, more people wanting to join my team or buying products from me. So you wanna make sure you have that blueprint and what you're posting and how you're gonna do that. So again, my calendar link will be here. And if you want more information on my blueprint, I will also have notes here in the description box of how you can get um, information on what attraction marketing is and free videos on that information. Until the next video, um, next week I will be showing if you're someone new how you make a thumbnail for your YouTube channel. It's just gonna be really simple. You're gonna utilize Canva. So let me know here if you use Canva. I would like to know and I'm gonna show you a simple way how to do that. But until next week, then make sure you utilize the videos that I pointed out here in the video. Take care until the next video.